Hey everybody, it is me, John Anthony Chihak Soltero, sometimes known as Jax, creator of the Bubba Patrol, and welcome to Pleasant Falls, and a sometimes YouTuber, because I don't do a lot of content anymore, just haven't felt the need to. However, something happened over the course of the last seven months that uh, has fueled me into making a video, and I've tried a couple of times to make this video once back in October, uh, because there were several <laughs> steps to what is making this video. And um, as you can see in the title, this is a seven month uh, negative journey using a facilitator for grading comic books. I talked to a few people and a few people uh, all responded the same that I should make the video, that I should A, wait until I get all my books back to make this video because I have to name the facilitator because I have to potentially provide some help and consumer protection for other people so that they might take that into consideration should they decide to use a facilitator. First and foremost, I don't recommend using a facilitator for getting your comics graded unless you absolutely have to. If you're not able to witness your own books being like signed, sketched, things like that, then unfortunately you've got to use a facilitator. Um, I have since started sending books into CBCS myself. I have my own account um, uh, and I'm sending in art books and things that I've signed and sketched to be slabbed and art labeled and graded. Um, so I have to ask them if I'm allowed to witness SIGs on my own book. Like if I walk up to Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor and have them sign books, can I submit that as being witnessed? I'll find out one way or another. Um, this, however, was before I felt confident enough to use the system myself and to submit stuff myself, even though I had been talking to CBCS since Phoenix Fan Fusion 2022, uh, where the guy gave me the information on the form, and I've been talking to the facilitators at CBCS and got my own account set up where you have to send in your ID and you have to send in like personal information so that they know you are who you say you are because you're sending in graded books. Um, so being that I was not confident enough to do that at that point in time, I went through a facilitator and I sent seven books in. Two of them are my books. These books. The Bubba Patrol, issue three. Now, they're different labels, which is strange because this one I got back in September 2020, 2023, first day of Tucson Comic Con. And this one I just got back on Saturday, January 13th, 2024. Why is that? Well, the facilitator I used, and again, talked to a couple of people. They said, you've got to say who it was because people need to know what your experience was. Uh, I went through Kevin Gwaltney of Collector's Choice Comics based out of Phoenix. And I have to say this was a very, very, very difficult experience. Um, I've never dealt with this kind of um, issues previously. I've also never submitted my own books before until I started submitting them in uh, the end of October and November for myself. Uh, but those went really, really smoothly for me. So what happened here? Well, these two books, along with other books, were submitted on June 3rd, 2023 at Phoenix Fan Fusion. And they both say witness signature, John Anthony Chihak Soltero, June 3rd, 2023. So why does this have the old label and this has the new label? Let's look into that. So this book was given to me in September at Tucson Comic Con. And I asked Kevin, well, where's the other one? And he told me it was still with the verified signatures. And I thought to myself, well, that's weird. They're both witnessed. Um, maybe it just got caught up with the other signatures. And, you know, that's just how it is. 
And then in October, and I forget when in October, he notified me and told me that some of the other books had arrived. It was like four different arrivals for these books, unfortunately. And so I go drive up. I live in Tucson. Their their shop is in Chandler. And um, so I go, and this book is waiting for me. Not with this label, though. With the old label. And it's an 8.5, just like it is here. The grade is inconsequential to what this discussion is. However, the information on it says that it's a verified signature of John Anthony Chihoxletero, which struck me as strange because... CBCS wouldn't have enough copies of my signature to be able to verify it because the other copy was the only other one that I know of that was signed by me. And I asked Kevin, why is this say verified? And he goes, because you handed me a pre-signed book, which is not the case. I signed both of these copies in front of him, so they're both witnessed. The other part to that is because I'm the creator, even if I had sent or handed him over a pre-signed book, I'm the guy who made this book and therefore it doesn't break the chain of custody because I signed it, I'm handing it to the facilitator, witness, whatever, so that's witnessed. If I hand it over to Tom and he doesn't see me hand it to Tom and then Tom hands it to him, then that's need for a verified signature. Um, so I was just like, no, I signed both of these books in front of you. And he said, did you? And I said, yeah. And he goes, well, did you hand me one that was pre-signed? And then I told you that that wouldn't work and that then you signed another one. And, and I'm like, no, I had two copies that I took with me, these two copies, and I signed them both in front of you. And again, it doesn't matter because I'm the person who created the book and I'm signing it so it doesn't break the chain of custody. So it's still witnessed. So that was kind of strike one um, in that sense. So he's just like, well, I guess I can send it back. And I'm like, yeah, because that's what I paid for. Uh, another book had to be sent back as well because the, the slab cracked. You know, that happens. Um, so then it took... That was October, and then this is January. So November, December, January. So that's three more months before I get this book back. So I'm sending books in to CBCS starting in October. And when I'm starting to get some of these books back, I decide to look on the census. And I look up Bubba Patrol, and it's got the different books that I've sent in, the Akira homage for issue five, you know. Um, it's got issue two, the, the, the two books that are there. It's got the issue three original art cover that's right there that I did. And then it's got two listings for the regular cover of issue three. These two books. Now, CBCS is only supposed to list one listing for a specific issue of a book, unless it's variants or anything like that, reprints. So one of them says 2020, came out in 2020. The other one says 2023. I message him on December 9th, and then again on December 10th, we continue the conversation, and I said, hey, I just noticed that the other book that's out says it's 2023 and the problem is, is that means it was already through grading which i didn't realize at the time right and i'm just realizing while i'm saying this and i had had a conversation with some cbcs reps and i was just like hey um can we get the first appearances and the origins of on the labels and i'm told yeah they don't Put that information on uh, self-published and crowdfunding books, which is a, a weird thing, and I don't get it. Maybe it's because they can't, you know, verify that that's true or not. But like, who's going to know more about that than the creators of the book, right? I mean, just because it's typed in like uh, previews or whatever doesn't mean that's correct information. So. Uh, I messaged him because that was something he was trying to do as well. And he told me he would still try 
because maybe it would help that it's coming from a facilitator and not from, you know, just somebody who's like, hey, I need this information on my books. Um, he told me the books were in grading and it should be any day now. Now, I've come to realize that grading through CBCS or CGC, as soon as they get into the grading room, they go through really fast. They're in the grading room for like an hour or so. You have the people look at it, they they tally everything up, and then they, they grade it, and they send it over to be encapsulated. So this still says it's 2023 on the census, and when I get it back, I'm thinking it's probably still going to say 2023. And it does. AHB Kids 2023. Issue 3 of the Bubble Patrol came out in October 2020. How do I know that? I'm the one who created the book. I'm the one who printed the book, published the book, crowdfunded the book. I did everything with the book. So that's strike two. And that's not all. Um, with that, still thinking these books are in grading, I decide to take it upon myself to contact CBCS to say, hey, I know I sent these in through a facilitator. Can I just work with you directly? These are the books that are remaining. And they were like, well, did you send them in through the facilitator or did you resend them in yourself? And I was like, no, facilitator, do you have the invoice number? I contact Kevin. That was this past, like a week ago as I'm recording this. And I'm like, hey, do you have the invoice for those last two books that you resent in? And he's just like, oh, those books are in hand here at the shop, and you can come pick them up whenever. That's strike three. I've been waiting seven months for seven books to be returned. Two had to be sent back, one of them for legitimate reasons, because the case was broken, the slab was cracked, and it had to be reholdered. The other had to be sent back because of facilitator error. And then excuses as to, well, you gave me a pre-signed book. A, no, I didn't. B, that doesn't matter because I'm the creator, so it should stay witnessed anyways. So you filled out the paperwork wrong in two accounts for the same book, which is really, really strange why they both wouldn't have been witnessed from the get-go, and why they both wouldn't be the exact same date is very, very problematic for me. It's not like these were variants. It's not like one of these is a reprint. It's not like these are two different issues. The exact same book with multiple errors to the grading process that slowed down me receiving these books. So what's my end verdict? What do, what do I say about this? This was overall not a great experience. Um, it doesn't shed a lot of good light on facilitators because A, they mark up uh, their costs for these things and I'm sorry if you're charging me for something, you should get it right. It's like making a pizza. If I order pepperoni and extra cheese and you put on jalapenos, like I don't mind jalapenos, but that ain't what I ordered. And you give me a medium and I ordered a large and I paid for a large. You know, it's, it's the same thing. So I, I can't recommend using collector's choice. Um, had it been one small error, like just the verified uh, versus the witnessed, I can see maybe, maybe making that, but making multiple errors on the same book and that causing delays and then making excuses as to why that happened um, is not okay to me. Um, whether or not, you know, you never know where somebody's coming from if they're just going on defense. And, and I get that. I've done that too. But I'm sorry if I'm paying a good amount of money for this service and you screw it up, just be like, I'm sorry. You know, I did mess up. Let me take care of this for you.
that's how you do it. That's, that's customer service. And I got to say, not only do these errors make me never want to work with him again or not want to work with any facilitator again, the, the excuses as to why it happened definitely make me never want to work with him again. So I'm going to have to put even more money into this book to have it relabeled so that it has the correct information on it. Now, it only costs like 11 bucks to have it reholdered or relabeled, but that's still time, that's still money, that's still the problematic shipping of this book itself, uh, because sending out slabs is a little more difficult than sending out, um, you know, raw books to be graded. But I'll have to talk to CBCS about that. Um, so again, guys, uh, if you're going to get books graded, I recommend looking into CBCS and starting your own account where you can submit all your own books yourself. And then you have 100% quality control. So any errors, I, I hate to say it, any errors that are done are on you and CBCS. But these errors were on uh, Collector's Choice Comics, myself for utilizing a facilitator and not paying attention to where things were and not demanding those changes as they were needed. And also CBCS because there's some, some issues with quality control with the labels and the information provided. Um, that's almost inconsequential because I talked to them about it and they were like, yeah, you know, sometimes they do this and sometimes they do that, which is still a little shysty. Um, but yeah, I don't recommend using a facilitator if you can help it. And I definitely don't recommend collector's choice. Um, sorry to say they're a local business, but uh, I think in a lot of times that means you've got to work a little bit harder and you've got to deliver in terms of customer service. Um, so I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. Uh, remember, I'm going to put a link down below if you've watched this far. If you want to pick up some stuff in my Etsy shop. Uh, I've got all the Bubba Patrol there. I've got Welcome to Pleasant Falls there. I've got um, prints, original artwork, things like that. It would really help out a little bit. Just give me a little bit of extra cash and help me to be able to send out more books to be graded so that I have more cool stuff to be able to unbox and show you, but also so that I can present that to you guys and make it available. Uh, you guys take care. And I will see you later.